First off, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to those elders and apostles out there from Great Millstone who teach and rule well. A lot of respect to you brothers out there on the highways and byways preaching this truth around the four corners of the earth. It's how you taste it all for like that you guys may be sealed soon. And hopefully by the mercy and grace of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all those brothers and sisters that's in the truth, all the elders and apostles that's been teaching and ruling well, hopefully we're part of the elect. With that being said, this is your brother, Dewabar, from the branch of GMS here in Chicago, coming right back at you. And uh, as you see in front of me, there is a, a article I found in Polifact, Politifact, Salakia, Politifact, and that says a dire warning is being shared on Facebook that all complied people will die within two years. Nobel Prize winner Luke Montagnier has confirmed that there is no chance of survival for people who have received you know, any form of, of the the waters, the post says. In the shocking interview, the world's top vir vir virologist stated blankly, there is no hope and no possible treatment for those who have been compliant already. We must be prepared to incinerate the bodies, the scientific genius back claims of, of other preeminent virologist after studying the constituents of the being compliant they will all die from antibody dependent enhancements nothing more can be said now you know for most of us we're trying to avoid saying certain words now chances are man they can look at this and probably take this off anyway but my thing is you know we warned you people man we warned y'all about getting the waters about being compliant you know and this is just part of that warning. Now, whether this is true or not, no one really knows. You know, many things goes up. Many people people put a lot of things on the internet that could be false. But with what's going on in the world today, man, <laughs> who's to say what's true and what's not true nowadays? There's so much going on. Who would have thought that you know, uh, last year what happened? What happened? You know, the world would be put on lockdown. So my thing is, anything is possible. But here it is. You know, you had to. Uh, the uh the uh prophets out there warning you you know to uh take heed so with that man first thing first let me get uh let me get second corinthians 2 and 11 lest satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices and like i said before you know, being compliant to what the, what they giving you is 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 is, a, is is one of Satan's devices. First and foremost, man, you'll never know what it's going to do to you. And if you listen to that doctor, Mr. Uh, Doctor Luke Montier, Montanier, he sit up here and said there's no chance for y'all. He said that man, a lot of y'all gonna a lot of y'all gonna uh, wither away, man, in a, in a, in a couple of years. Now, you know. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm hoping it ain't no be no couple of years, but you know, it is it is what it is. You know, anything can happen. But my whole point is, taking the waters, being compliant, man, then cost y'all. Not only has it cost y'all, you know, in the physical sense, but you know, in the spiritual sense, a lot of y'all, especially you two thirds, is done. You know, and that's just to sit up and say because you trust in Egypt. Now, you know that, but that's between y'all and the Heavenly Father. But like I said before, man, you know, trusting in Satan devices, man, is not going to get you anywhere. So with that, let me sit up here and get, uh, so I get brothers. Let me sit up here and get, uh, Ecclesiastes, oh, right there. Let me sit up here and get Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. And this, this, this scripture has been coming out a lot lately, a lot lately. Just like Revelation 12 and 12, you know, just like Romans 13 and 11, you know, Second Edgeris chapter 9, Second Edgeris chapter 15, Second Edgeris chapter 16. These things are coming out, man, because everything that's all that's happening all over the world, man. These prophecies are popping off the pages, man, are jumping off the pages right in your face. What is it going to take for people to wake up and see, man? But with that point, man, this is, 
Ecclesiastes 12 and 10, Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take a heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust had not been altogether wiped away. So my thing is, no matter what this devil say, no matter what he does, man, he's going to forever be wicked. You cannot stop him from being who he is. He's going to forever be wicked. You know, and like I said before, man, you got these brothers out here on the highways and byways preaching this truth around the four corners of the earth, man, telling you what's going on, man. And quite a lot of y'all ain't going to take heed. A lot of y'all going to perish, man, in this time because y'all ain't listening. So this is uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou... At the last, and thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. So my thing is, like I said before, man, even the heavenly Father, man, what he said, never trust thy enemies, you know, and remember the words, man. Remember these words that I'm telling you. Don't trust thy enemy, you know. Let these words sink in. But a lot of y'all ain't gonna sit up here and accept that fact, man. Too many y'all trust in this system. Too many y'all trust in this damn devil. And y'all about to find out the hard way, man. This devil is about to run y'all over, man. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with, with a serpent or any such come night wild beast? So my whole point is, man, who's going to pity you, man? Here it is. You've been forewarned. You've been told, man, not to trust this devil, not to take those waters, you know, not to trust this system, to come out of this system, to sit up here for you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you true Israelites of the Bible, you know, you true children, you true, you, you true children of the Heavenly Father, you know. We've told y'all, man, to sit up here and come out of this place, man. Let it go. Let it be. But a lot of y'all ain't going to listen, man. And a lot of y'all going to die in this place, man. A lot of y'all going to die in this place because you trust this damn devil. You trust in this system. You know? And that's y'all problem, man. So here it is. Hold on. Let me sit up here and... Uh... It's a lot here, brothers. You know? Let me sit up here and... We always tell you, man, don't trust in this place, man. We always tell you, man, to leave this place alone. You know, we always tell you. Sit up here. We always tell you, man. Damn. That's not what I was. I know. Oh, damn. I just I just messed up. All right, there you go. I thought I had it. Oh, here it is. This is Michael 2 or 10. Arise and depart, for this is not your rest, because it's... Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. And that's what's going to happen, man, to a lot of y'all, man. We know we sit up here letting you know, man, to, 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 to stay away from this devil. Not to take his things. Not to touch none of his, uh, be, be leery of his devices, man. These waters, man, is a heavy device, man. You know? And next is going to come that M-O-T-B, man. Like I said before, we try to avoid words, but still. You know, if they look at this, they might take it down just because of, you know, me showing that, that, uh... That screenshot, you know, but the whole point is, man, you're supposed to rise and depart, man, because this is not our rest. This is not where we're trying to make our life. Our kingdom is to come. This is the ease kingdom. This is their heaven right now. This is our hell. We under punishment, but you don't supposed to trust this devil. The moment you come into this truth and you, your eyes are open, if the heavenly father open up your eyes and bless you with the Rakako Dots, the Holy Spirit, you're supposed to stop doing certain things as best you can. We can't do things perfect, but we try to do the best we can. You know, but my whole point is, man, that, you know, you're supposed to ride the park because this place is polluted, man. Everything is polluted. The food, the air, the water. You can't trust nothing that this devil has done. You know, but the one thing you can do is avoid some of the things that you know might mess you up. Like the waters. We got to eat the food. We got to breathe the air. We got to sit up here and drink the water. But we got the Heavenly Father backing us up on that. You know, he's protecting us from all the foul stuff that's going on. You know, you called up on his name. He got our back. If you truly believe in him and trust in him, you know. But like I said before, man, you know, arise and depart. For this is not our rest because this place is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sword of destruction. So my whole point is, man, you know, whether that, and I'll go back to this, uh, I'm going to go back to that uh, screenshot, you know, whether this be true or not, you know, you know, whether it could be something that they just do on the internet or whether it could be something that, that's really true. My thing is, you can never trust this devil, man. You'll never know with this damn devil. So, 
So with that, I'd like to sit up here and give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, double understood old elders and apostles out there from Great Millstone who teach and rule well. A lot of respect to you brothers out there on the highways and byways preaching this truth around the four corners of the earth. And so you taste the whole for like that you guys may be sealed soon. And hopefully by the mercy and grace of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all us brothers and sisters that's in the truth, all the elders and apostles that's been teaching and ruling well, hopefully we're part of our life. With that being said, I always say stay prayed up, brothers. Pray for each other. You know, we almost out of here. So with that, I'd like to say Kwam Yasharela and a Baba Ball. Shalom.